Hey guys, welcome to your channel. My name is Derek. Definitely glad you're here. Now, I want to go ahead and say that I made a promise to you guys that if we reach 500 followers, we'll have an interview with Chili DeCastro uh, of Delete's Laws, if you guys don't know. And though we didn't reach 500 followers, I was able to reach out and he actually obliged and decided to come on. And sorry about that. That's him now messaging me on the phone. Uh, I'll have to get him on here soon. So I just want to introduce you guys to just let you guys know how excited I am. Uh, as you can tell of my stuttering, I, I don't get to do this this often. I've never really, really interviewed a natural YouTuber outside of a parody. So this is kind of cool for me. Something, something pretty exciting. And again, thank you so much for the support. Definitely appreciate it. But to get things started, I just want to talk to Chili here, just to, you know, kind of pick his brain a little bit and see how he ticks. So Chili, can I call you Chili? No, it's it's not Chili anymore. Well, what's your name now? It's I, you know, I always called you Chili. Well, it's now Spooch King. I like to go by Spooch King or Captain Spooge or King of Spooge. So you're going by Spooch King. Do you, do you want me to just call you Spooch King for a Yeah, yeah, I, I totally like that. I think it'd be pretty cool if you call me uh, Spooch King or Captain Spooch. That, that would be pretty cool. All right, well, just out of respect, I definitely uh, want to call you by your right name. And I, I do like to know, why did you decide to change your name all of a sudden? Well, I... I, I'm, I'm I'm very popular, you know. I'm I'm really cool, and I'm in tune with the wild the children, and you know the men and the teenagers. And you know, I'm a pretty cool role model for everybody, for every single person on this planet. And you know, not only do I care, I also stick up for people. But don't know me, just think of me as a superhero like Batman. So, you think you're Batman now? Yes, yes, I totally think I'm Batman. Well, I'm better than Batman because I actually know the law. You see, I know the law. Okay, well, uh, that's a pretty good introduction. My name's Derek. Um, I, I've been on this channel for, I don't know, 10 years maybe. Uh, I'm a very small channel, as you can see. The channel doesn't really get a lot of views for the most part. But let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't know a lot about the law. Uh, honestly, I've never had to deal with the law, and you know, I, I'm, I guess I'm a pretty average guy. I'm, I'm overweight. I'm a nerd. You know, just like some of your audience said that you know, uh, I live with my parents and I'm fat and stuff, which I, you know, understand. I, I guess we can follow that stereotype. But, you know, it's not all that. Um, you know, I do have severe bipolar depression. I stutter a lot. I get nervous. But I, I've really been looking. I've been watching you from afar now. And I think what you're doing is, you know, it's interesting. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty interesting. Um, I've not seen this much commotion in this town since you came out. Well, that, that's, that's why I'm here. Uh, you know, I'm here to protect and serve Lawrence County, Ohio. Because, you know, they need help. I'm the superhero that you all need, but you terrorist police think they don't deserve. You know? That's why that's why I'm here. You, you know, I come here just for you guys, to protect you, because I'm King Spooge. And I'm gonna spooge everywhere until I clean up the corruption in Lawrence County, Ohio. That's pretty noble of you. Uh... Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We, you know, our town, we do have some problems, honestly. We do. And I, I think you coming to this town to kind of show the corruption that goes down. And I, I know you don't like cops. I know you don't. But one thing I it struck me is when you ask these police officers to actually get into a fight with you, like rather be in a cage or you know, in the street or something. Now, I, I've seen some of your past videos. You seem to be a pretty built dude. Um, so why do you want to fight the police physically? Well, you see, I want to get in a cage and fight these terrorist cops. You know, the, the big oily muscles, 
the, the tight uniforms, the subtle face. I mean, the terrorists. I'm sorry, I get a little carried away because when I think about fighting the police for you all, I just think it's it's really cool, you know. I I just want to rub my body all over another cop. I mean, not that sounds kind of gay, but you know, I, you know, that's just what I do. I, that's what I'm for, man. I I like I like to fight policemen in cages. Because it makes me feel good, puts me in my element. Especially when you rub me full of canola oil and the other cup of canola oil. And we just kind of grapple each other, hold each other really tight, whisper behind each other's ears and um, kiss, kisses. On. I, I, sorry, sorry, I'm getting a little carried away. You, you tricked me, you tricked me, see? You tricked me, I'm going to sue you for that. Well, that's... You can't just sue me because... <laughs> You spoke out a line. I, I mean, I, I know that's your thing. I know you like to do that. <laughs> I, I've seen a lot of your videos, especially one you posted that you're suing a couple people. And you say one of your favorite things to do is being in court kind of gets you gets you rock hard. I'm pretty sure that's what you said. Um, you know, I, I made a video just giving my opinions on things. And please don't take things out of context when I say um, you know, I thought you was a big, giant, dumb bastard, honestly. Like, I really did. I, you know, then I got to know you. I still haven't changed my mind. I, I still kind of think you're a big, giant, dumb bastard. But you're, you're not as bad as a dumb bastard as I thought you were, but you're still there, you know? Well, that's not very cool. And you kind of hurt my feelings by calling me a dumb bastard because, you know, I'm really cool. And I, I'm a protector. Well, I do see you are a protector, and that's kind of one of the things I wanted. I, I heard you have like an alter ego um, and some powers that has been bestowed to you by God, apparently. In digging into some stuff, I seen that you are a hero for people that has diabetes. Is that correct? Yes, they, they call me Captain Diabetes. Um not just King Spooge, but Captain Diabetes is, I fight the diabetes with my hands because diabetes is slippery little guy and he just runs away when, you know, he, he, he's kind of dumb, he kinda, but he's cool because I can take diabetes and I put him in a lock and I'm like, hey, look at me, diabetes, you're going you're gonna to go fuck off and I'm going to kick your ass and all that stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. You shouldn't really gave you gave away your secret identity. So you're a superhero for diabetes. Now I notice you have like your own little thing, kind of similar to Batman has with his utility belt and the jock strap. Strap is that right? Jock strap, sock jock, cock sock. Okay, cock sock. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, so what what I do as Captain Diabetes? I have my special weapon. It's called the cock sock. And what it does, it protects you from UV x-rays and lasers from the sun in order to make your jock not drop. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not just a man of the law, even though I watch every single season of Law & Order, CSI, Andy Griffith, Murder, She Wrote, and Scooby-Doo. I know a lot about the law, but I also know about protecting your junk and saving you from the crisis that is known as diabetes. So I appreciate you coming, allow me to come on this show. You're a really cool guy. I think you're pretty cool. You're the, you're really handsome too. I, I just want to say you you look really handsome. And um, if you want after this interview, maybe we can go to dinner and um, you know kind of see what happens. I really appreciate that offer, man. But uh, I'm taken. Um, honestly, I, you know I can't go. <laughs> On a on a date, but I mean the offer's always there, though, you bro. You you, you know what I'm saying, bro. I, I would protect you. I know you have diabetes. I would protect you and your balls, and your penis. I would protect everything. I will be your bodyguard, like for real. I think you're a really cool, outstanding guy, and totally handsome too, and definitely not fat. Kind of flattering me a little bit. <laughs> kind of embarrassed, actually. It's it's flattering. Um, I definitely... I, I, I think we need to end this, though. Uh, we kind of... 
ran out of time. I knew you have a really large schedule ahead of you. And I, I do appreciate you stopping by today. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you're totally right. It's really cool. I hope I hope nothing but the best. Whenever I come back to town, I, I'll give you my phone number and uh, maybe we can hook up a little bit. I mean, hang out for a little bit and, uh, you know, okay, just be friends now, you know? Be, be good friends and I'll show you the oils and all, all the cages and all that stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, I decline. I, I do apologize. But I hope you, you know, have the best of luck in what you're doing. It's definitely great to have you on. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, but guys, we're going to end it here. Uh, definitely cool to have him on. I've never had this chance before to actually interview a large YouTube celebrity, especially around this town. He's actually considered a celebrity for the most part, which is pretty neat. Um, you know, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that follow button and, uh, see you guys soon. Oh yeah. Finger guns. I, I know you'd appreciate that.